Well now we're going to look at making shape keys for animating the surface of the mesh which we'll use in conjunction with the other animation things. Now the first thing we want to do is we just want to be able to clearly see our, our mesh. So click on the layer button so that we only got first of all only got the um, caterpillar showing. Now we need to go into edit mode. We hit tab and the first thing you see that because we've got animation on the mesh you, the eyes seem to bug out there and it goes into edit mode but it's not easy to see positions of things. So we, there is a, an option which will help with that. If you then select the first layer so we just see the armature. Select the armature and just go into edit mode and then look here you've got a button called rest position. What this does is it puts the armature into its basic as the name suggests rest position and now when you select the mesh and hit tab you see that it doesn't jump around so it's ready for um, the editing that we're going to do. If we come down to the tabs the, um, with mesh selected um, we choose the without in, not necessarily in edit mode at the moment, we're just in um, uh, normal mode. But if we go to edit mode, we add a, a shape key and it puts one in automatically called basis. And that is our shape, that is the mesh, without any editing done. If you do add shape key now, it puts in key one as a name by default. And we're going to change it to, uh, give it a name, ant underscore side, antenna to the side. Because what we're going to do is we're now going to edit the mesh so the antenna go to the side and then we'll be able to animate that when we want to to make the antenna wiggle. So if we click press B twice for um, first one click it does border select, the second click does the circular select like you see and select the top part of the antenna and then use the rotate widget to actually rotate the antenna. It actually it's rotating in the wrong spot there, so I think I'll actually uh, yeah, I think I'll actually change that so that it's just rotating on top section. So A to select all again, B twice to get to this circular select option, just select the top part of the antenna. That's better. Rotate it like that, then do G to grab. G to grab and pull it out to the side. Although you could use the you could use the widget, the translate widget, but you can just use G to grab. And the other antenna, to A to select all, deselect all, B twice for the border select, and then do the same, make the antenna on the other side look the same. Use the rotate widget and then do G to grab. They haven't got to match exactly because it's just going to be simulate the antennas bobbing around and moving. Uh, independently of each other or basically at the same time. Once we've got that at uh, its most extreme setting that we're going to use, that should be fine. And then we've now actually set up our first shape key. If you hit tab now it goes back to normal and you think hello what's happened. Now um, if we go on to the action editor you'll see that there's in a moment there's sliders have been put in which we'll take a look at but if we now come down to the shape key choose the basis and then choose the uh, ant side again you'll see that it then jumps to that extreme position um, actually if I change it so that we can see both windows at the same time so you can see what we're doing change to the action editor in this top window And now if we click on the slider and move it, if you watch the, um, the view, at the 3D view at the bottom, the first thing to note is that once we've moved that slider, it puts in a key point, the yellow key point, and moving the slider look adjusts the, um, how far the shape key is applied, how what percentage of it is applied. So that's our first shape key done. Go back to basis, add another shape key, and this one is going to be similar but we're going to make the antenna go to the front so we call it ant front same thing again tab into edit mode and because we it remembers what we had selected before we can use that but this time we're going to um, rotate things so that the antenna point to the front again we start from the basis i'm selecting both of the antenna this this time and what we can do now is we 
just rotate them and grab and pull them both forward. Use the translate widget like I'm doing here. Pull both the antenna forward and that's another shape key that we're setting up. Just keep doing this and have as many as you want on the mesh. Put it to what you would consider to be the most extreme setting. Basically just a matter of getting it to the most extreme position, as I say, until you're happy with the position. And that's another shape key setup. Same as we did before. If we look in here now, we've got um, another slider automatically in there in the action editor. Move it up and back again or just click on it to get a, get a, um, a key position set. And the other thing to notice is that they blend together. So you can set it slightly forward and to the side. And in this way, you can create, it's another way of creating animation. And uh, relatively new to Blender in this way. It used to be called Relative Vertex Keys. So if you hear on any of the websites talk about RVKs, they're now called Shape Keys and you've got the benefit of these sliders. And there are some new and exciting ways of uh, um, moving shape keys which I'm not going to cover because um, I haven't found them necessary up to this point for the animation that uh, I've been doing okay now what we can do is we move just to show how it's keyed you just basically step through the animation and move in the sliders to whatever position you want and then as you animate, as you move through the animation you'll see those, see the antennas moving um, so you can quite quickly put together an animation using these shape keys very effective quite quick to do once you, if you've got a fairly simple mesh like this Okay, I'll just change back to the, we, we change back to basis, add another shape key. And what we're going to do now is actually uh, create a uh, shape key with the eyes closed. And once we've done that, we can then use the, um, use the shape key to, um, to actually make the, uh, the eyes blink. If you do shift S with, with the eye selected, for example, you can then um, make the cursor go to the selection and then press C to center on the cursor. That's what we did there. Now if you select, um, we've got the um, eye close selected. That box there by the, which, you, which I click on actually um, toggles the uh, visible, the invisible, the back. The limit selection to visible just literally means that you can select faces and vertexes at the back of the model. Now if we do shift and click, shift and right click and select these two eyebrow faces as it were and then using the widget as you can see we can drag down and up 